and let's ride, ride for pop, pop, the life for pop, pop, pop off the glock, glock, the thug in the dumb stuff, stop, 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 So I'm going to do, I'm going to do a reading, um, so just going to get some stuff ready, um, to do it. I am just running behind today. Let's pull a number, okay? So these are not angel numbers, although they could be, but these are not angel number cards, okay? So. 51, so number six could be relevant to you. Also the number 26 or 62 or also getting 16, okay? So 26, 62, 16, or six, maybe all those numbers um, may be relevant to you, okay? So there's something where you're, there's some sort of rebirth happening for you with transition or moving here. Um, you may have let go of a lot that didn't serve you. Maybe you were in this time of uh, like you could have been partying a lot or spending a lot, a lot of time. It could have been like indulging in things. It, it doesn't, I don't mean... Well, it could have been like overindulging in things. Um, you may be going through a transition in your life. This is like one of those transitions where you may not be going back to old ways of doing things. This could be like this rebirth that you are like letting go of habits that don't serve you. Or maybe they served you at one point in your life, but you may be growing out of a certain way of doing things. Um, this may be a time where you're letting go of uh, of, could be like vices or different things that you may have done that you found, maybe you found them gratifying at one time, but there may have been, there may have been this like long time coming of, there may have been this long time coming of Feeling like there was something you wanted to let go of, but not feeling like you you wanted to do that. Um, because maybe you felt like the healing that you needed to do around that, you weren't able to bring. There was going to... Maybe the healing that you wanted to bring in around that situation... I'm sorry. Hold on. So maybe the healing that you wanted to do around that situation was going to bring in I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Um, let me just look at this room in there, okay? <clears throat> okay. So there was something I feel like you wanted to walk away from, and it could have been, like, there was, like, this long period of wanting to walk away from some sort of vice or something that you were having this thing that you poured into it was like you knew you wanted to walk away from it but you had some sort of thing you were investing in it in some way and you maybe felt like you were in a space that you couldn't see yourself 
you couldn't see yourself at a certain point in time. Maybe you felt like you were in a younger energy. You didn't have, like, the... You maybe felt like you weren't, maybe... Even though you could be somebody that's you could be somebody that's older, you maybe felt like you weren't at a, the the stage in your life where you had where you had. It's almost like it's almost like it's a level of it's like a level of maturity that you wanted to be at to let go of something that I feel like was something you wanted to let go of, but you maybe felt like you weren't at that space where you could let go of it. And I feel like there is this transition where you've come into a new a new level of honoring yourself and your own stability and looking at yourself in a different way when it comes to your emotional needs and your foundation and even people that you may be in a connection with or that you may be in a found like you, that you may care for. And there may be a need to walk away from things that don't serve that situation. So you may look at yourself in a more mature uh, energy or look at your situation as being in a more mature space where even though you could have been in that same situation before, you didn't look at it as being in the energy that it was in there may have been some growth in the situation where now you see it in a more mature place because of the growth that you've had in the situation and the length of maybe time you've put into whatever situation this is you're able to maybe let go of things that you would have done before maybe you don't feel the need to do them now or you feel like you're able to walk away from certain things at this point okay so, um, yeah, I feel like that's it. That's the energy around, around the reading. Okay, so you, I feel like, have worked a lot on connecting to breaking down a lot of walls that you've, that you've had up, that you've kept up, um, and you may have kept these up to be able to pull in a certain, a certain level of um, comfortability you have around resources or um, even, like, just being able to enjoy life just in general that has brought in this, like, could it be, like, level of luxury that you may live in, um... It's like having a guard up, but that guard may have, like, in some way carried over to um, a lifestyle that you're in. Maybe in a commitment or, like, a family situation, you may be, um, you may be, had this wall up or this guard up and not realize that it could have carried over to, like, a relationship that you're or this is like past energy, so it may be something that you um, had done in the past in a connection that you were in, or maybe it's something you're working on coming out of or breaking down at this time, because I feel like it's something is showing up three of wands, so it's something that you're pulling forward in your energy as trying to break down or, or um, work on taking down. I feel like it's something that you have a lot of... Um, 
it's in your mind a lot or something that you're trying to um it's something that you're trying to bring into your awareness it's something i feel like that is in your it's like it's like this it's like a hidden there's something around like something that's hidden in your subconscious it's like a hidden fear that is keeping these walls up in your daily life it's like maybe something around your resources or something around your luxury or your your something you live in like some sort of luxury and there's like a hidden fear around that um that's in your subconscious it's the reason you keep some sort of wall up but it's um it's like carried over into a relationship or a commitment that you may be in or a connection that you're in i feel like that could be something that's something that is um i i feel like Something that is maybe it's causing conflict. Um, wait, let me see something. Uh, it could be causing conflict in some way in your relationships. Um, it could be causing there to be some sort of grief or like a feeling of loss or a feeling of abandonment in some way on some on some end um if that resonates um i don't know um i do feel like there's like confusion Hold on. So, there may be confusion on... Hold on, let me see what I can see. There may be confusion because you, you can feel like somebody you're with is... Like, you could feel like they think, like, really... They use a lot of clarity. They, they think very clearly... And you may feel like you get caught in, you can feel like you get caught in emotion. Okay, so, so you could be, okay, so I get it. Okay, so you could be masculine or male, the, the masculine or the male, and the female could be feminine or female. But the female could think more like a masculine and be really, um... Clearly, they could think very clearly, like, use a lot of logic-based thinking. Like, they're coming up as the Queen of Swords. They could think very clearly using, like, facts and stuff. You may be somebody that uses a lot of emotion, which is more, like, this is more... I'm not saying you're female or feminine, but it's just, like, it, it, emotion minds, like, considered more, like, typically, like, the, um... I'm just saying the masculine in this reading is thinking more with the emotion mind and the female is thinking more with um, logic mind, which is switch because the masculine usually thinks with logic mind and the female usually thinks with emotion mind. So it's just, it's just switch. So there could be some confusion on <coughs> in this situation um, when taking down these walls because um, you may feel like... You may feel like you don't want to get manipulated in a situation where you're confused about pouring out your emotions and the other person may be really, um, like, fact. They may come at you with, like, facts or, like, sternness and you may be really emotional or you may put out a lot of emotion. But it's just two ways of, different ways of approaching a situation that may be where the confusion is I don't think it's like immaturity I think it's two people that think completely different and approach situations completely in two completely different ways which is the yin and the yang except for the masculine maybe thinks in a more um, like feminine way and the female thinks more in a masculine way and I'm not saying the female's masculine but or the male's feminine. I'm just saying the, the 
the thinking is just switched. So, I, I don't know. Maybe that resonates. Um, that's just what's coming up, okay? Okay, so this is a lot to... Okay, so, um... I do feel like you may have, you could have children with this person. I, you may also be, you may also, you may also be working on, you may also be working on something that you're bringing forward quickly. Um, that you're trying to have a lot of clarity around even though you feel like you're in some sort of regret or loss around something that you are trying to have a lot of forward movement in. Although I do feel like it's paying off whatever this is. You may be trying to work more privately or more in, in a more independent way on something. Even though you feel like you feel like you you feel like you could be coming Okay, so you may be trying to work more independently on something, and you may just be coming out of anxiety around a situation that maybe left you feeling, um, like, stabbed in the back, or, like, you're you're trying to heal from a situation that was, um, that you worked on that you had anxiety around, um... You could just be listening to your intuition and your higher knowing, maybe some sort of guidance or inner voice or calling that is telling you to just relax and like kind of listen to like your own uh, highest self right now to pull in your energy to balance your emotions so that you can come out of some sort of immaturity that was happening around you. Um, and you regain, like, your strength at this time, okay? So, I'm going to pull an advice card. What areas of your life are you avoiding? Are they causing you upset, worried, disrupted sleep? If so, these are the areas you need to focus on. As much as you don't want to, it is necessary. Tackle your demons head on. Don't allow them to rule you for a second longer.